welcome back to another episode of Nemeseek, and today we are going to talk about a casting update on IMDb. Now, I will say I cannot confirm this casting because uh, when I went to the actor's Twitter account, which I don't have Twitter, so I had to like Google search it, um, and I went to his account, I didn't see any updates about him confirming this, and typically I will try to go in any of these people that are listed as cast members in this, I try to confirm it from some source, usually directly from them, through either Instagram or Twitter if I can. And, uh, and so this one I can't 100% confirm, but there was a couple others that I couldn't confirm either that later turned out to be true. So I thought I'd make a video on this, including Lisa Trevor, uh, Marina Mazipa, who we talked about before. She is now officially listed as Lisa Trevor on the IMDb page. Um, and again, IMDb pages can be edited by people. So, you know, I always try to keep that with a grain of salt, but we know Marina from her own post on Instagram she confirmed that she was Lisa Trevor, and we talked about that in a previous video. So that's why I, I, believe, I tend to believe some of this stuff as we get closer, because originally the movie was gonna come out like two and a half months from now. Now that it got pushed back, I still feel like we're gonna get a lot more um, you know, cast members squeezed in and people who have smaller roles squeezed in. And so I'm wondering what size of role this will be, because this is a Stars member. This is actually a character who has a brief cameo in the video games, kind of. Um, Dylan Taylor is the actor, and the character he's playing is Kevin Dooley who is a helicopter pilot for the STARS team. Now, obviously, we have Brad Vickers, and he will be in this movie, played by Nathan Dales, but uh, but Kevin is actually the, the the helicopter pilot for the Bravo team. Um, the Bravo team that gets sent in first with en uh, Enrico Marini and uh, and all those characters, Rebecca Chambers. Um, that's He's the kind of the pilot for them, but there was also another guy named Dewey. His last name was Dewey, D-E-W-E-Y. Um, so there's Dooley and Dewey, um, and Kevin Dooley, is a pilot and Dewey is also a pilot, but uh, but I think is not like not he's like a secondary pilot or something. And uh, for whatever reason in the lore, Kevin Dooley is the one flying the the helicopter, and Dewey is just there with the team um, as a backup. Maybe uh, I can't really remember the full story with the character right now. Uh, I'm trying to go off memory, and I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> I should uh, I should have tried to reread some of the the stuff before, but. Um, but I know, but it also gives me an opportunity for you guys to come in and correct me because I don't really like to be a know-it-all, you know, with stuff. If I know it, I like to share my, you know, my enthusiasm and my knowledge. But if I don't, I'm happy to be corrected by anyone. So let me know down below the difference between Kevin Dooley or between Dooley and Dewey. Um, but I do know that Dewey is in Resident Evil Zero, and he ends up on the train with Rebecca and is killed. And I think, uh, you know, I, I can't remember. He doesn't have his hand. Uh, taken away. That's another character. I think they changed that around. Um, but he pops in through the you know the glass in uh, Resident Evil Zero, and Rebecca finds him, and he dies in, in Rebecca's arms, basically. Um, so that's Dewey. But Dooley is in Resident Evil One in the opening credit sequence, um, especially in the remake version, where uh, you know his he's dead. He's in the, the the pilot seat of the helicopter, and his head is tilted back, and he's got like claw marks, like the dogs have come in and eaten him. Um, so that's what happened is their helicopter had to land abruptly because there was some malfunction with it. And so he kind of crash landed the plane. The team got out to investigate. And while they were doing that, I guess he stayed behind with Dewey to kind of work on the helicopter, see what's going on. But it looks like he never even got out of his seat or maybe he got out for a minute and had to get back in to try to radio someone and he gets killed. Uh, but either way, the Chris and the team find his body in the helicopter, you know, clawed open from the dogs and stuff. So... Kevin Dooley in this movie, uh, you know, hopefully he has a scene where he's alive. <laughs> we actually get to know him as a person uh, before he gets killed because in the video games we don't really. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was neat and I wanted to talk about it uh, because uh, Kevin Dooley was just an interesting name to see on here because we have Enrico, we have a couple other people, but I know we don't have Barry or Rebecca and a lot of people have been asking, like, is Barry or Rebecca in this movie? And I'm going to guess not because if they are, they're going to have such a small part that it wouldn't really do them justice to make it those characters like Kevin Dooley and uh, you know and, and like Brad Vickers like they have small parts in those games like in the first game um, they have very small parts so it's kind of fine if they just have a small part in the movie for this storyline and then you can expand Brad Vickers later but like Kevin Dooley he literally is just a corpse in one of the games in the cutscene and that's it that's all they mention you get of him really so for me it's like it's not a you know big deal to put in a character like this and give them one or two scenes because that's fitting for that character uh, because they don't have a lot to do in the game. So it would make sense not to do too much more with them in the movie. But Barry and Rebecca, they are big parts of the game. So I can only hope that maybe one day, depending on how they write this, maybe they do some kind of prequel and do Resident Evil Zero and we get to see the story of Rebecca and Barry and maybe they use them too as like the characters in that uh, that movie, that would actually be neat because I'm not a big fan of Billy. Uh, they, I mean, they could probably do still put Billy in the story, um, but I'm not a big fan of Billy. 
But that would be cool to see Barry and Rebecca having to work together and then, you know, meeting up with these characters later on or something um, if they want to do a prequel. But I don't know. The, the, the way they're putting the first two games into this one movie, it already makes me a little worried uh, about how they're going to structure this universe. If they're going to if they're plan, planning to just make this part one of a series or if they're just going to see how this goes before they move on. And that makes a little bit more sense to me because if someone was like, hey, you got to make Resident Evil. Um, but we're not gonna we're not gonna plan long term right now, so just make the best movie you can, and then we'll plan off that. Then that's good. But I would strictly have stuck to Resident Evil One, and I maybe would have uh, added in elements of Zero into One and combined those two stories. I don't know if I would have combined One and Two, but I can imagine for a director who's a big fan, he was like, I, I want all the toys. I want as many toys as I can because if if this doesn't do well, I'm never gonna get another chance to make Resident Evil. And I want to play with characters like Leon and Claire as well as, you know, Chris and Jill and stuff. And so I could, I, it seems a little like uh, greedy in a way, um, but uh, hopefully it still turns out to be a, a good movie. And if nothing else, at least better than the movies we've gotten before, um, which is a low bar to cross in my opinion, but hopefully they succeed at least in doing that. Uh, but let me know what you think of Dylan Taylor here. Uh, it seems cool. Like I went to his Twitter account and checked out some of his stuff. Seems like a nice guy, very hardworking guy. It looks like too. Uh, posts a lot about uh, you know his interests and he likes artwork and and music, different music and stuff. And uh, he seems like a pretty cool dude. And uh, so I was like, all right, well hopefully they do something with him. Hopefully he has a scene or two where he gets to like talk or shine a little bit before he gets killed. You know, if he if he gets killed, uh, we'll see. But um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to share this with you today and just get this announcement out there that there's another casting on IMDb and hopefully. Hopefully it's it is true i mean it seems like it would be true but i again i just don't have confirmation from dylan himself so it's up in the air right now but you can also go to the imdb page and check out the other casting that they put i'll put a link down below if you want to go check it out because uh, they you know confirmed some other people that we talked about before and now they're listed on there and they're starting to list a little bit uh, more zombies and stuff like turnaround zombie and things like that and sherry birkin's on there so they've definitely updated the imdb page uh, for sure so let me know again what you think down below and we'll continue the conversation down there Thanks so much for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you all in Raccoon City. Peace.